there, it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes. And today I have a jewelry haul from Cindy Lovin. Cindy Loves Jewelry is her, um, her YouTube channel. So here's her, her logo. And uh, Cindy and I have uh, been good, uh, had a good, buy, you know, buyer-seller buy relationship since uh, I started purchasing jewelry. Hers was one of the first um, uh, YouTube uh, auctions that I started following. And so there's some lovely things happening here. Um, so these are from a couple of different um, auctions that she had. And she lets me accumulate enough stuff till it's worth uh, spending the shipping. So I thought I'd show you, start first of all, the gift she sent me. Look at it. There's a little gift. Look at this cute little um, bangle or bracelet. And uh, just has the little hook here. It's delicate. It's very, very pretty. And uh, this is either glass. I think that's glass. Black, but uh, pretty. And that it's the glass on both sides. Very lightweight. Um, so it would be really nice um, uh, to wear. It wouldn't, it wouldn't um, be heavy and weigh you down. But also you could then um, bundle it with other bracelets at the same time. So thanks, Cindy, for the gift. It's always a thrill to get something extra. So she had a few auctions that involved rhinestones. So that's the theme here. This is um, a lovely uh, three-strand rhinestone necklace. Move all these little bags out of the way so you can see it better. There we go. I stand, hold it up like that. I thought that was quite pretty. Um, and uh, it's not, I mean, it's not old based on the fact that it has a, a lobster claw clasp, but I think it has very nice rhinestones and a very nice design. Then there are these rhinestone earrings. You know, nice classic um design you know sort of like a flower five large five smaller with the center oh these aren't earrings sorry i don't want to think these are pins two matching pins so two scatter pins even better so older um an older design you don't find many scatter pins these days um then there was this set, and this is an Avon set, and it's, I, I liked the set, and it's older, uh, Avon with a bracelet, I liked the design of the gold tone with the, you know, sort of these half circles, or I'm not sure what you'd call it, um, so a bracelet, and then the matching necklace, kind of a timeless design classic to wear and there wasn't as much interest i don't think in this particular piece i don't uh in the auction and i so i think the price was very good so here's the, a rhinestone lot of just sort of rhinestones to rescue or repair from cindy and here's a, a lovely little um, green screw back earring. That'll make a lovely little charm for a bracelet. Here's another earring missing rhinestones, but it's got some pretty pink ones in there. And actually, I've got quite a few rhinestones this color. I might even have something that size. I'm not sure. But... Uh, Either some rhinestones to remove, or I might be able to repair this and use it for a charm or a decoration. Here's a, uh, a more modern pin. Beautiful blue rhinestones. 
Two missing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, maybe uh, I've lost count, but yeah, I might be able to fix this up. Or uh, a little bit of acetone and all those rhinestones will fall out. But this is a nice setting, so I think it um, be nice. If I can't get matching rhinestones, I might take all those blues out of there and put uh, a single color in there. And then the blues that I take out could go in some of these outer spots. We'll have to see. Here's a very rusty earring with some couple of rhinestones worth saving. I don't think the earring itself is worth saving. And there's uh, another rhinestone, the same color. I uh, can't get it to focus. Here's uh, this was a small pin. Hmm, a little bit older. Missing all but one of its rhinestones. Oh, that definitely can be repaired. They could all, all different colors could be put in. Uh, that looks like a fairly common size. There's the a pin, oh, not a pin, sorry, a button, rhinestone button. That'll probably clean up well. Here's uh, another uh, screw back earring, a pearl, and those four rhinestones. There we go. That's in good shape. Here's another earring. Missing a rhinestone over there. Looks like there was... Uh, oh, it looks like it's missing, actually. Might have had a dangle, because there's a, uh, uh, an H connector for a piece of cup chain there. But uh, no one would know the difference if... I just took the H connector out and put a rhinestone in there. Whether I do that or not depends on how well those rhinestones clean up. They look a little yellowy in the camera. And then there's a bunch of these pearls uh, have fallen out. But uh, I'm pretty sure I have ones that color. That was one that could be cleaned up, some verdigree cleaned up. This is an uh, an Emmons earring, same uh, jewelry maker as uh, Sarah Coventry. So that would be uh, fun to turn it to pendant or whatever. And then this is interesting. This is I've never seen anything like this. This is a hard. This is cup chain, but rather than having the um, flexible uh h connectors it's a solid connector so this probably went together and made a a bracelet in some form and uh let's see we're missing where are we I'm having a hard time getting it to focus just on this so we are missing a rhinestone there and i'm assuming there must be some way that this fits back inside there to make a bracelet. But these are nice uh, rhinestones. They could be uh, to figure out how you could reuse them. <sighs> Excuse me. So there's one set of. Uh, of the uh, rhinestones to be purpose and then uh, a few other things so this is an interesting brooch that needs repair this is an art there's the co the an art symbol on it it's interesting it's got that weird bit of glue there Anyway, these are an unusual pearl. These are the, like you would see on um, corsage pins. So they're sort of like a teardrop shape, you can see there. So one, two, three, that's gonna be interesting to repair. 
but it's so worth it. That is really gorgeous looking. I wonder why that one's sitting up that way rather than being right down in like all the rest of them. Okay, interesting. Here's a bangle. Um, no marking. And I'm sure, I'm assuming that it's in here for repair because it's missing. Oh yeah, there's a... Oh, come on, focus, focus. Alrighty, so there's one missing. It's really hard to tell. I'd have to go around and check, but that's there's not much to need to work with that. Let's see what else we have here. We have another earring. Oh, this is pretty. And a little cover. Oh, what three blues missing and a. And a blue baguette. I even have blue baguettes, I know. But, uh, well, interesting things could be done with that. Here's, oh, a lovely little pin. And, oh, some of the little purple stones are missing. Well, that's not a problem. I have lots of those. I keep saying I have lots of those because... I bought a huge lot of uh, rhinestones. I have thousands of vintage rhinestones. Oh, it's a pair of earring, a pair of pins. Oh, even nicer. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have that. Uh, be they're beautiful little pins. I love the design. So I just need enough of the purples. Even if I have to take all the small ones out and put a slightly different color of purple around the edges, those are well worth. Uh, restoring what else have we so we've got oh and there are a pair of these earrings I didn't notice that at first so uh, one two baguettes and one two three light blue rhinestones so okay and I don't think there's a there's no maker's mark. But a pair worth working on. And there's a random pearl. I know that this does not go in here. So it looks kind of the right color. It's got a hole in it. Got holes in it. Um there's a ring. Quite small. Pretty design, but missing couple little rhinestones that's repairable this is an interesting little pendant kind of thing I don't know if it ever had rhinestones in it but uh, hmm interesting here's a little Probably a W. Missing some rhinestones. And a chain with an interesting one of these, I don't know what you call this kind of a clasp. It does lock very nicely. I've seen this kind of clasp on some 1950s stuff. So the chains, some of the brass is wearing through. This is quite pretty. These uh, teardrop shapes are a little more difficult to find. So a teardrop and a rhinestone there and there. Okay, well, we'll see. Uh, the, certainly the chain's not worth um, worrying about, so I'm going to take it right off. And the chain could probably be repaired, repurposed. So some neat things. And again, all from Cindy Lovin at Cindy Loves Jewelry. Thanks, Cindy. Uh, I appreciate uh, the gift and all the uh, work you went to to get this sent to me um, at a reasonable price. Thanks very much. It's Pat Hood.
from Passions and Pastimes. We'll see you soon. Take care.